Digital marketing is steadily becoming more and more competitive. Consumers are increasingly skeptical because they're bombarded by more ads and emails and texts than ever before. We marketers are expected to achieve more results with less budget, less organic reach, and in many cases, less data. Oh, and more competition. <laughs> But one thing's for sure, average ads, average emails, average SEO, average digital marketing is not gonna get results. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Wait, 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 it's not all bad. You can still win. You just need to be significantly better, better, better. better. Well, the good news is today we're gonna be covering seven B2C marketing strategies that you can implement to win in this terrifying hellscape. I mean, modern economy. And although today's examples are B2C, the exact same principles do apply to B2B as well. And if you're still watching this video, you've already seen four of these seven techniques in action. Cliffhanger! All right, let's start with the basics. Understand your audience. Whoa, 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 I know you know this. Give me 15 seconds, I'm gonna show you something new. Okay, maybe 80 seconds. When I say understand your audience, I'm not talking about designing your customer avatar. We've been through that. I'm talking about finding a hook that resonates and positioning yourself to stand out. Example, earplugs. Boring, you say, right? Maybe not. Loop Earplugs is a B2C earplug company that has a unique angle because it's identified its target audience clearly. Let's take a look. Look at the images on this page. It's young people. Look at how they're positioning the product. This is like technology. Of course, they also look different, which encourages people to rethink what they already knew about this product category. There are even collaborations, yeah earplug collaborations and they've identified an audience with particular needs that they can target this is a brand that deeply understands their audience i mean it's also a fantastic e-commerce site look what happens when you add to cart you get all of these upsell opportunities you get this little bar at the top which is encouraging you to add products to your basket to increase your order value to get these bonuses it's just great. Anyway, that's the topic for another video. The important thing to recognize here is that they've understood their target audience and built messages tailored to resonate with that audience. Now we actually have more videos on the topic of target audience. So in the words of my therapist, Tim, that's beyond the scope of this conversation. I'll leave you to go and check those out separately. Anyway, strategy number two is to dial in your paid search. Paid search has always been awesome, but we ninjas think it's gonna have a renaissance because of the generative AI coming to search results. Just look at how Bing is embedding ChatGPT powered Bing chat into its search results and how it's using ads in those answers. And Google is doing a similar thing with search generative experience, building shopping ads into the AI generated answers. These platforms are going to be spending more serving up generative AI in their search results. So they're gonna be very keen to build ads into these answers. And that is good news for advertisers, or at least advertisers with good paid search campaigns. So how do you prepare for this? Well, the first thing to do is make sure that you've got profitable paid search campaigns running for your business. We're expecting the total number of advertisers to increase as Google and Bing roll out generative AI in their search results, as some of the businesses that see a drop in organic traffic might be piling into paid search instead. The ad platforms are also trying to make it easier for advertisers to get started by offering generative AI ad tools. So who's gonna win in this new era? Well, Google, of course. The first rule of digital marketing is Google always wins. But the other winners are going to be those marketers that have established high performing paid search campaigns and can pay the most per click profitably. Dialed in campaigns, high performing landing pages, large targeted audience lists. Now, if you're not already going hard on paid search and request a free website and marketing review from the team here at Exposure Ninja, link in the description, and we'll be able to help you plan out your angle of attack. B2C marketing strategy numero three, positioning and niches. All right, let me show you a couple of examples here. So here we have two brands on Instagram that are selling vegan shoes. This is Will's Vegan Store, and you can see the images are quite high-end. This is like travel, it's lifestyle, it looks quite cool, and that's because they're serving a more premium audience. Now compare this to Koi, still selling vegan shoes, but a totally, totally different positioning. It's much younger looking, it's more fast fashion, it's a bit more trendy, bright, bold colors. Both vegan shoes, very different positioning. Get it? If not, check out this example, insurance. This is dead happy. Now selling life insurance is a pretty difficult thing. It's something nobody really wants to think about and it's definitely something that young people don't really wanna think about. But dead happy have set up to sell life insurance to young people. How do they do it? Well, they make it cool. They use completely different language. They use very bold branding. They even make it, dare I say, 
fun. And by choosing a younger customer base, they're targeting an audience that most insurers just aren't interested in trying to get. Here's another insurance company taking a different approach. This is Polly. Now, Polly's offering life insurance, not just for young people, but for mums. Okay, so why is this niching thing a good idea? Well, first up, it narrows your focus. Think about it. Polly doesn't have to outspend all of the major established insurers, reaching everyone possible to sell them life insurance. They can target mums through the sort of marketing channels that mums are spending time on. Secondly, it makes product market fit easier and easier to communicate. By completely tailoring their product to this very specific target audience, they have a much better chance of resonating with that audience. That improves the conversion rate of any landing page that they're gonna show because their target audience is immediately gonna see themselves represented on that page. Look at all the imagery on this site. This is targeted very specifically for mums. They're using phrases like mums know best, which every mum is gonna agree with. And to be fair, most of the dads. You got that right. And of course they can make the emotional sale by making this page all about the children, which is really why any mum is gonna buy life insurance anyway. Now you may say, yeah, but by targeting just mums, Polly's restricting their target audience. True. But the parent company owns a whole bunch of these different niche insurance brands. They have insurance for mums, insurance for dads, and insurance for the over 50s. Love it. Essential B2C marketing strategy number four is emphasizing your social responsibility credentials. According to Harvard Business School, 70% of Americans believe it's either somewhat or very important for companies to make the world a better place. That's 70% of Americans. I'm just joking, we love our American friends and America is actually amazing. It's a reality that today's consumers are looking for brands that align with their values. Now the types of things that consumers are looking for in ethical businesses include selling ethically sourced products, treating their staff well, being transparent with customers, avoiding false marketing claims, and striving for constant improvement. So what can you do to show your customers that you actually care about making the world a better place? Well, you can start by just setting out your principles on your website. Here we see how gourmet confectionery company Candy Kitten focuses on their sustainability, how they're building a greener future and they care about the environment, the fact that they're a B Corp, info about their packaging, and a quote from one of the founders about how important this is to the business. Now, it doesn't just need to be sexy direct consumer businesses. Here's a construction consultancy that lays out its philosophy on its page. It shares its company values. They explain what their culture's about and they talk about social responsibility. At Explosion Ninja, we do this on every single page of our website, showing that we're a B Corp. We also have a carbon offset scheme, which means that our entire company is climate positive. We're very proud that we've been certified an outstanding place to work for, and we're disability confident. Now you might say, yeah, but do people really care about all this values stuff? Well. Yes, they do. Sure, there are some people who don't, but the ones who do care are gonna be motivated by this stuff. And it's also likely to be important for your staff to feel like they work for a company that actually strives to make the world a better place. Now, one thing to note is that it does tend to be the younger generations that index more highly on these environmental and societal goals. Of course, this means that companies which take a stand are gonna see further benefit as consumers age. And it's important to say, be legit here. Don't just treat this as a box ticking exercise. Today's consumers are savvy. And if they can smell greenwashing, they are gonna smack you over the head with your vegan shoe. And by the way, while you're on the Exposure Ninja website at ExposureNinja.com, checking out our B Corp and climate credentials, do yourself a favor as well and request a free website and marketing review from the team. We'll take a look at your website and your digital marketing and we'll record you a video which shows you how to improve the results that your website generates for you over the next six to 12 months. It's completely free of charge and it's totally awesome. So go to ExposureNinja.com and click the button to apply for your free review today. All right, principle number five is personalization. Where you can, you wanna personalize your consumer's experience. Whether this is serving dynamic content on your website like Amazon does, let's be honest, they're the masters here on this homepage. So much of this homepage is tailored to my recommendations and my previous purchases, although they do happen to have made the mistake of thinking that I'm some sort of real man. Embarrassing. Of course, you also want to segment your email marketing list. This allows you to tailor your email marketing promotions to people who've already expressed interest in particular products or services. But this can also mean things like personalizing your landing pages according to the locations people are in when they click on your PPC ad. For example, check out this local plumbing firm. 
that actually isn't a local plumbing firm, but they have localized landing pages because they know that if they show a local name on that landing page, they're more likely to get the conversion than if it's just a national brand with a national phone number. And of course, you wanna be tailoring your ads to people by running specific remarketing and dynamic remarketing and retargeting ad campaigns. I mean, let's just take a second. Look at the state of your social feed or your Gmail promotions tab. Do you think that you're gonna have a chance of cutting through without a little bit of personalization in there? All right, B2C marketing strategy number six, digital PR. Now we at Exposure Ninja have had a digital PR team since 2014, but we think it's one of the channels that is going to be due a renaissance because of generative AI in search results. But let's be honest, getting your business featured in the sort of high authority publications that your target audience spends their time in has never been a bad idea. It's great for credibility. Yes, of course, it can lead to more brand awareness and traffic to your website, but it's also killer for your credibility and SEO. Now in in this example for one of our clients, we identified that there was a new story brewing about the opioid crisis and fentanyl. Now we've got an addiction clinic client who's actually treated people for opioid addiction and we were able to get them featured really prominently in this article with a great success story from one of their patients. Look at the quality of this testimonial and in a real top authority publication as well. Yes, it's great for traffic, it's great to have a link, but what does this do for their credibility as well? It's phenomenal. But you can also get super creative creative with your news jacking. For example, here's a story about Madonna and the fact that she had to delay her US tour. Maybe not a usual source for a link to a digital marketing agency called Exposure Ninja, right? If you're persistent enough, there are ways. And by the way, we've got another video on digital PR which shows you how to do all this stuff. Link, peer, and down below. Strategy number seven, video marketing. For B2C brands in particular, video can be incredibly powerful. Let me show you an example. Our client, Golf Course Lawn, run by Ron Henry, uses video marketing to build a really personal connection with their target audience. This completely differentiates them from the other companies selling lawn care. Now, of course, Ron is great on camera, but he's great on camera because he's passionate about what he's talking about. And these videos do well because they tap into a topic that people care about. Of course, the true masters in this area are the Kardashian Jenners. Don't skip. Stick with me here. Uh, Ariel here with me. This video is an 11 minute 42 second infomercial to sell one of Kylie's makeup kits. But of course it's not really an infomercial because it's had 4.4 million views for zero media spend. <laughs> Now, if you think watching someone do their makeup for 11 minutes and 42 seconds sounds like a long time, there are some people here asking for a three hour version. Yeah. Now, by the way, don't dismiss this because it's not the same as your business. You don't sell makeup. I can see you about to skip forward. Don't do it, stick with me. I actually think you should watch this Kylie Jenner video in full. And not because you care about makeup or you care about Kylie though, of course I hope you do. I think you should watch this because you care about how to build a relationship with your customers through video in order to sell them products through massive organic reach with zero cost of distribution. YouTube user Tad Hug says Kylie's makeup is really an art. That may be true, but Tad Hug, I would say Kylie's organic reach is the real art here. And by the way, if you're watching this thinking, ah, oh, yeah, but these productions are slick. We don't have the tech to make slick productions. Exhibit A, Duolingo's TikTok. And with something coming called Google Perspectives, video is poised to become a more important product discovery medium for potential customers. And more about Google Perspectives in just a second. Now, those are the first seven tips. There are actually three more in the blog that's linked underneath this video. But of course, before you go to the blog to get the last three tips, make sure you subscribe to this channel to get the next installment of our very tailored video marketing, all designed to get you to request a free website, a marketing review from our website at ExposureNinja.com. And if you don't know what Google Perspectives is, this video shows you what it is and why it's so important. Until next time, see you soon.